go talk before. They say, well, the more drugs got a hold of me. Or they'll say that alcohol got a hold of me. Or that gambling it got a hold of me. But I'm going to tell you tonight, there's something that can get a hold of you. That won't ever let you go. I don't want no treatment for this. I don't want no rehab for this. Because I don't want to let go of it. Because one day it got a hold of it. And I've never been the same. Let's sing it again. Well, something got a hold of me. I said something. Well, praise God. Before, well, glory, hallelujah, something got a hold of me. What about you tonight, friends? Listen, listen tonight before we break into the topic. I'm going to be talking about uh, the free Bible CDs that I'm going to be giving away. Bible study with me. Yes, old man Bishop Eddie Cheney. I'm breaking it down. I'm giving it away free. We're going to play you a couple of those that we've got a... Do a little more work on them, but I really love to hear, well, praise God, to, to hear your input on those if you think they would be enjoyable the way that we're going to present them. But we'll get to that in a minute. The first thing I want to do right now, right here, my goodness, something. I said something. Done and got a hold on me. Praise God. Has it got a hold on you tonight? Listen, right now we're going to play that again. If you got a need, if you got a prayer request, put it in the chat room and claim it. Right now, something got a hold on me. Maybe you listening tonight uh, and you're seeking a gift from God. Uh, maybe you're seeking an answer from God. Uh, maybe you're seeking the, uh, the Holy Ghost in fire. Woo, glory, well, glory. Let it get a hold of you right now, right here, tonight. Right here at the Gospel Music well, Jukebox. I got a hold of me. I said something about a hold of me. Don't you know that
Praise God. Let's just go to the Lord in prayer right now. Stretch your hands right, right towards your computer screen or your radio, CD player, ever how you may be listening to this program. Right now, let's just go one of mine, one accord. Let's take these prayer requests that were put up in this chat room, those spoken and unspoken, and let's go to the well, glory. Let's go to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, God, once again, as we come before you tonight, Lord, you know the needs of Sister Angie. As she needs a car, Lord. Uh, uh, Lord, it sure is hard walking an hour or so in the heat. God, you see her struggles, Lord. Uh, you see her trials. Uh, Lord, as she's asking tonight uh, uh, for transportation safe and sound, Lord, we stand in agreement with her and Lord tonight as we cry out for those that are listening sick uh, and afflicted in the body. Uh, we speak uh, healing uh, by thy stripes. We know we are healed, Lord. Give us that increase of faith uh, uh, that we may receive thy word uh, as you write it upon the tablet of her heart. And Lord, tonight we speak out for those that are lost and undone without you, Lord. Like uh, Sister, Re well, praise God. Like Sister Rachel's uh, 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 uncle there, Lord. Uh, uh, Scotty, God, and my son, Benjamin Cheney, and many, many others uh, that have backslid on you, uh, that have let go of you, or that have never known you. We pray this night the Holy Ghost conviction drawing power. Well, glory. I said the Holy Ghost drawing power of God. I'm talking about a Holy Ghost in fire would begin to draw them to an old fashioned altar that called the knee bend of repentance that they would realize that they're sinners in need of a Savior before they run out of time. Well, glory. Praise God. Tonight we stand in agreement Lord knowing that your word is true and your promises are yea. Lord Heavenly Father God this night for your children. You said if we'd walk upright before you. Dear Heavenly Father, God, that we could ask for anything and whatsoever we ask for, it would be done. Tonight, God, we want to receive a thy praise report from all of thy children over the next couple of days of how you've moved in their life. Well, praise God. Well, praise God. How you've moved in their life and moved in on the situation that they may be facing, Lord, as they stand crying out for the needs of their family and friends, co-workers and neighbors, God, begin to flood the neighborhoods where they live uh, with your love, peace, and joy uh, as they are the lights that you have set in those communities. Let them be, well, praise God, let them be like that city that sit on a hill that cannot be hid. God, take each one, oh, glory to you, each one a willing vessel tonight, God, as they jump upon the potter's wheel. Lord, you shape them. Uh, you make us into what you would have us to be. Dear Heavenly Father, we'll continue to to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. It is in the precious name. I said the precious name of our, well, glory, of our Lord and Savior, the only begotten Son of God, that we do pray, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Praise God. God's good, church. You may be going through pure hell today in your life, but don't forget this. God is good. I'm telling you that God's got a purpose and a plan for your life. Uh, honey, if you're born again, bathed in the blood, if you believe in Jesus Christ, 
Christ. The word of God said, if you'll believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. I'm telling you that God loves you, loves whosoever, that he sent his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you believe enough to press through the crowd of confusion and doubt? Do you believe enough tonight to press through the attack of the enemy? Do you believe enough tonight to get dressed with the full armor of God? I'm talking about from your feet to the top of your head. I'm talking about picking up your sword and your shield. My God, I'm talking about tonight going forward, not backwards. I'm talking about standing in the boldness of the Holy Ghost and speak, speak, speaking his like you ought. I'm talking about when you lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. Count the cost, church. Count the cost. Get up off of the couch of doubt. Quit whining, complaining, and murmuring. It's time for the body of Christ, the children of God, to stand up, cry aloud, and spare not. Be who God's called you to be. I said, be who God's called you to be. There's nothing but good things. I said, there's nothing but good things laying in front of you that God's already prepared. He's already prepared for you. All you got to do is show up. Well, glory. I said, show up. Believe and receive. Do you hear me tonight? I'm talking about you got to show up. You're going to have to get out of that comfort zone. You're going to have to let go of a couple of worldly things. Yeah, you're going to have to make more time for God and godly things. You're going to have to bombard your mind with the word of God. You're going to have to be like a sponge in these latter days. I'm talking about the end times are upon us. You need to be in the word of God as much as you possibly can because this world is waxing worse. I'm talking about the devil's matter and hell is hot tonight. But I got good news. I said I got good news. I said I got good news. Somebody, somebody better shout. Well, praise God. Well, glory. I got good news. I bring encouraging words to those of you that are born again. Bath in the blood. Honey, he that lives in you is greater than he that is in the world. Don't you fear no man. Did you hear me plain? Don't you fear no man. You better be fearing God. I said you better be fearing God who can destroy both body and soul in the lake of fire. Honey, I'm talking tonight to you. Open thy ear and you receive what thus saith the Lord. It's time to lay down childish things. It's time to get off the milk and in, in, in well, glory and into the meat of the Word of God. Ooh, glory, hallelujah. Well, thank you, Jesus. Honey, we got a work to do and we're running out of time. Do you understand there's a soul hanging in the balance? Somebody's watching how you deal with your neighbor. They're going to watch if you lie and pat them and play patty cake with them and smooth them over and put a band-aid on it. Or they're going to watch if you're going to walk up with the boldness of God and lay hands on it and it be set free and made whole. Do you hear me? I'm talking about they people running around here absolutely possessed with the devil. They people running around your community, my community. It's called the world out there. They are absolutely blinded by the enemy. They are people that have sold out to the devil. They have swapped their soul for a loaf of light bread, for a morsel. Do you hear me tonight? They have sold their soul for fame and fortune, for a man to pat them and tell them how pretty they sing and how pretty they preach and how pretty they look. Let me tell you something tonight, church. Those of you that are born again bathed in the blood, you better not trade off your salvation for a mere morsel, a bowl of soup. You better not let go of that unchanging hand of the great I am. If you've ever needed God, you need Him now. I said if you ever, if, well, glory, if you've ever needed God in these end days, you need Him now more than you ever did. I'm talking about a new thing God's doing. He's opening up the windows of heaven and He's pouring out His Spirit upon all flesh. Do you hear me tonight? If you'll receive the gift that God wants to give you, I'm talking about a bab well, glory, a bab baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about a, a spirit that God wants to dwell inside of you. I'm talking about all you got to do is say, Lord, here I am. Here I am, Lord. Bless me, God. Bless me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fill me. Fill me. Well, well, glory. Fill me up, Lord. I belong unto Thee. 
And he will. He said, you have not because you ask not. You ain't been a asking and you ain't been a denying self. You ain't been a rejecting fleshly thoughts. You ain't been a rejecting fleshly things. I'm here to tell you tonight, you need to get your flesh under subjection. Honey, listen, 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 listen. If you've ever listened to this program, listen tonight. God is sure enough baptized me in a new anointing. He's taking me deeper in the water. I'm plumb over top of my head, but he's with me. I'm talking about in the anointing of God. I'm talking about as I went down, he had me by the hand like he did Peter. And there I was. And then he just held on. I got my eyes focused on Jesus. I'm telling you, I'm not under. I'm on top, walking in the anointing of God. It may be seem like everybody around me is running away. It may seem like uh, there's nobody going to help me. But I see an army coming by faith. I see an army coming by faith. I see a people coming that's sold out. I see a people coming that wants to get behind the men and women of God and the anointing of God and take back their community. Show up at the school meetings. I'm talking about show up on the street corner and invite the drug dealers to come to the house of worship. I'm talking about showing up and letting them see your light that they can come out of that darkness. Listen to me tonight.
the more drugs got a hold of me or they'll say that alcohol got a hold of me or that gambling it got a hold of me but I'm going to tell you tonight there's something that can get a hold of you that won't ever let you go I don't want no treatment for this I don't want no rehab for this because I don't want to let go of it because one day it got a hold of it and I've never been the same let's sing it again well something got a hold of me I said something Praise God, something got a hold. I'm telling you, something's got a hold. The Holy Ghost, uh, the anointing fire of God. Listen to me tonight. If you're in the room and you want a dose right now, get up. Stand up on your feet. Raise your hands up toward heaven. I'm telling you, listen tonight. Praise God. If it takes the last breath you got, uh, you're going to have to pray your way out of trouble. You're going to have to pray your way through uh, the attack of the enemy. You're going to have to get up and give God praise. You're going to have to shout your way to glory. Do you well praise God? Do you want what God wants to give you? Get up, raise up right now. Pull them IVs out and give God praise. Stand on your feet. Claim your miracle in the name of Jesus. Uh, you're healed by the stripes. Uh, I said you're healed by the word of God. If you'll believe, well, praise God. If you'll believe and receive and stand upon the promises of God, there is nothing there. Well, glory. I said there's nothing. There's nothing impossible if you'll just believe. Well, praise God. Church, well, glory. Well, glory. Something doesn't got a hope. Well, glory. The Holy Ghost is sweeping the land. Grab a hold of the, the unchanging hand of the great I Am Church. Uh, but you, well, glory. Uh, praise God. Well, glory. Well, glory. Mm, praise God. Will something got a hold of me? Come on, church. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Get it. Praise God. Don't you know that I went to a meeting one night and my heart wasn't right. But something got a hold of me. Everybody sing it now. Well, something got a hold of me. Something got a hold of me. Yes, it did. Somebody needs to come off of that meds. Somebody's been amusing, abusing and abusing your meds. Who is in here? Take them like the doc said. Because the great physician is working through them. I'm telling you tonight. To walk in obedience to the word of God. Receive. Well, glory. Well, glory. I said reach out right now. Somebody shout. Somebody run. Somebody shout. Somebody give God praise. Somebody. The Holy Ghost is moving. Reach out.
glory. Somebody, somebody right now push that walker back. back. Well, glory, hallelujah. Somebody push the walker back out of the way. You don't need it. Give glory to God. You don't need it. Throw that crutch over in the corner. You don't need it. You don't need it. If you'll receive thy healing, you are made whole this night through and, well, glory, through and by the blood of Christ, through and by the word of God. We are the healed of God. Well, praise God. You can be made whole if you'll just reach out and take a hold of the unchangeable hand of the great I am tonight. Well, glory. Well, praise God. Grab it, church. Grab it. It's for you tonight. He that has ear to ear. Well, praise God. Whether you're listening live or to the archive program, I'm telling you that God wants to bless you. I'm telling you there's a better way of life than walking around all sick and afflicted and ready to die. Honey, don't you give up. Did you hear me? Don't, don't, well, praise God. Don't you give up. You look up for your redemption. God, now, I said look up and begin to praise the Almighty. Well, well, praise God. We got the devil on the run. Let's keep him there. Praise God, we got the enemy on the run. We're advancing forward. We're marching into the enemy's camp and we're taking back. I said we're taking it by force. We're taking back what the enemy stole. He's got to return it sevenfold. I'm talking about your joy that he stole. I'm talking about your peace. I'm talking about your sound mind. I'm talking, well, praise God, your family members. I'm talking about your friends and co-workers and your family that you love. Honey, tonight I'm telling you, well, praise God, if you'll get a made up mind come hell or high water, that you're going to hold on to the unchangeable hand of the great I am. Listen to me. Some of you got right now got to make a decision. Let me tell you what I had to do. I, I had to do it twice in my life. I've done it 26 years ago, and I've done it about 11 days ago. I had to get down in a place with God and say whether I live or whether I die, I'm going to trust you, Lord. I'm going to hold on. Well, glory. I'm going to hold on 
on. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. Although all hell of cells around me, I'm going to hold on. God, I ain't going to let go. God, this night, whether I live or whether I die, I'm going to praise you with every breath. Well, glory, with every fiber of my strength. Lord, I die this day. I surrender my will to your will to be done in my life. Take me a willing vessel and shape me and make me. Well, praise God into what you would have me to be. You see, I received a negative report not too long back uh, when I had an accident at work uh, and they told me there was some things going on in my head. Uh, Yeah, something got a hold of me. I didn't receive it. I said whether I live or whether I die, some of you tonight are feeling pain and it's bad. I know it's bad, but honey, it ain't the flesh we're concerned with uh, because the flesh is going to go back to dust. Do you hear me? I'm talking about eternity. I'm talking about where will you spend uh, eternity eternity, heaven or hell. I'm talking about if you believe the Word of God, then receive the Word of God from the man of God as they speak forth with the anointing uh, such as they ought. Uh, listen, well, glory, well, glory, well, glory. Listen tonight. Uh, you got to make a decision. Uh, it just as sure as you keep depending upon the world uh, to give you that uh, uh, pain uh, uh, to take it away from you, they can't do it. Uh, they can only put a band that I said they can only put put a band-aid on it. I'm introducing you tonight to, to the cure and his name is Jesus. Well, glory. I said his name is Jesus Christ. I said I'm introducing you to the cure. I'm introducing you tonight to your miracle. If you'll believe and receive, you know the word of God. Now you're going to have to, well, praise God, you're going to have to make a decision whether or not to apply it to your life. Honey, you might get up. You might get up. You might come out of that hospital bed or you might come off of that couch of pity and you might begin to praise God and you just might please him and he might reach down and just take you on to be with him but there ain't no better way well glory I said there ain't no better way to lead this world than being in the will of the father do you hear me somebody 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 give him some praise somebody somebody let the devil know that we ain't got time for the devil we ain't got time for the devil we ain't got time for the devil we ain't got time one night while I was sleeping held the presence in my room I looked down at the foot of my bed and there stood Mr. Moon he tried to put his fear on me but I heard him start to weep and I spoke the name of Jesus and I went right back to sleep I ain't got time for your devil Devil is a 
for you devil I'm telling you tonight pain listen to me those of you that's sick inflicted in body right now take your hand I said take your hand put it on the place where the pain is and speak to it in the name of Jesus I said rebuke that pain well glory I ain't got time for the devil I said right now if you've got a heart condition lay your hand on your heart and say be thou made whole according to the promises and the word of God listen honey you don't need no anointed man of God you are the anointed man of God. You're the believer. If a believer shall lay his hands upon the sick, uh, they shall recover. A believer. It don't got to be a pastor, evangelist, teacher, preacher, apostle, or bishop. All it's got to be is a believer. Are you a believer tonight? How many believers we got in the room right now? Type amen fast as you can. How many believers? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Well, hey, glory. I said how many believers we got in the room tonight? Just type amen. 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 I'm a believer. I'm speaking to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, right now, lay your hand on that ailment uh, and begin to speak truth uh, and life uh, in the anointing and power of God as we pray and transfer that anointing right now. Holy Ghost, do that. Do that. Well, glory. Do that which the Lord said I should do. Uh, well, burn it out of there. Well, praise God. Well, glory. Listen, church, if you believe, I said if you believe, I said if you believe uh, that thou be made whole this night. Uh, I'm talking about right now. I ain't waiting till tomorrow. I may die tonight. Uh, I don't even know what codes tomorrow. I'm in war with the devil right now. I can't worry about tomorrow. I don't have the promise of the next breath. I'm talking, well, glory, well, glory. I'm talking about you want your miracle right now. Right now, this minute. Believe and receive the word of God. God. Now look around and tell your neighbor, your partner, your husband, your wife, tell somebody you're healed. Tell somebody you're healed. Tell somebody you're healed. According to the word of God, I'm healed. I'm not going to receive the report of man. I'm going to stand on the promises of the great I am. I'm healed. If I die tonight, it's because I please God and he took me. Well, praise God. I said I'm healed. Are you healed? Tell somebody that God touched you this night. Because I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Moses to lead all his people out but Pharaoh's heart was hard and he thought he'd give them the route so he chased them all down to the Red Sea shore he thought he wouldn't have to worry about Moses anymore but Moses stretched his rod out over the sea and the Lord answered Moses with a little gentle breeze I can see Moses now with a smile on his face telling all the people with his gentle grace I've got a feeling Went out to fight the giant 
Everyone laughed at such a funny little sight A little shepherd boy armed only with a sling Beside mighty Goliath seemed such a puny little thing But David said you'd come to me with spear and a sword But I come to you in the name of the Lord He put in a stone and he gave it a fling And when it left his hand, David, he began to sing the greatest story of them all. Jesus was a dying and hell had a ball. All the demons were rejoicing. They thought they had won the war. But soon they would not be laughing anymore. On that first Easter morning and the sun woke up the earth. The caverns of the deep opened up as to give birth to a resurrected Savior with healing in his wings. And now the host of children rise and sing. Praise God. Everything's going to be all right tonight with the children of God. Everything's all right with those that believed and received tonight. As we are standing on the promises, all oh, we're planted on the rock. I'm talking about a rock that don't roll. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. I'm talking about when a storm comes. If we live to lift our eyes come daylight and the storm's sure enough going to blow. But I got good news. I want to encourage you. Our house is going to stand because this night... We dug deep into the rock of Christ. We stand upon, well, glory, upon the promises of God. Look the devil in the eye and tell him he's a liar. Go on back to hell, devil, where you belong. Because I got victory. I got the blood of Jesus. I got victory. I got the blood of Jesus. Well, praise God. Whew. Now I want to speak just a moment to the lost. The body of Christ is doing just fine. I got a feeling we all right. But I need to speak well glory to those that don't know Jesus Christ I need to speak to those that are not baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire you see you're going to need the spirit of God dwelling in you because honey what's coming you can't fight it in yourself you can't hold off of the wells of the enemy without being baptized with the Holy Ghost yes Lord and fire you need a bath you need a well praise God you need to look up toward heaven and simply say I receive. Give me a dose from the most tonight. Well, praise God. Just right now, right now, begin to holler glory God and say, Lord, fill me, fill me, fill me, fill me with our gifts, Lord. Fill me with our promises, Lord. You said it was expedient that you go away, that you must go away or the comforter couldn't come. Lord, you went and sent back the comforter to those that will receive thy gift. Well, praise God. Tonight, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal, I said as your personal Lord and Savior, right now, well, right there where you're at fall down on them bended knees come to that place and realize you're a sinner in need of a savior let go of the world let go of the drugs let go of the whore hopping let go of the childish ways let go of the foolishness of the world and reach right now with every fiber of your being with every ounce of energy you got my God my God before you run out of time reach up reach out and take a hold of the unchangeable hand of the great I am what time the mercy doors open I'm telling you you're running out of time you don't have the promise of the next heart 
heartbeat, my friend. Get things right right now between you and God. Get it right before you get left. My God, grab a hold of the unchangeable hand or you're going to burn for eternity. I don't want no one to miss heaven. God don't want you to miss heaven. That's why he sent his only begotten son that whosoever. Now listen, hell is enlarging its borders every day. But you don't have to leave this world without Jesus. I said you don't have to leave without Jesus. Uh, my God, if you'll believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. Uh, you'll want to be water baptized. Uh, you'll want to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost uh, and speaking in other tongues. Uh, you'll want to receive these new tongues. Uh, you'll want to receive of the baptism that God promised. Oh my God, reach out right now. Quit running away from God and run into Him. I said, I said, quit running away. Drugs ain't the answer. Alcohol won't give the cure. Honey, you'll have no peace. You'll have no joy. You'll not experience love until you surrender over to God. Until you come on over to the winning side. Until you come out of that drug addiction. Oh, the only way out is through and by Jesus. I said the only way out of hell and torture is through and by Jesus. You'll not go no other way. There's no rehab can help you. There's no friend or neighbor, no mom or dad. It's Jesus or nothing. Please, my friend, surrender. And come bow under the mighty hand of God and receive life. Receive life, not death. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? We're praying for you. We're praying with you. You can do it. You can do it. It's as simple as this day. Choose whom you will serve. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Jesus? Or is it going to be the devil? Are you going to continue to listen to self and think you can figure out what's going on and you can find a better way? There ain't no better way because Jesus is the only way. You'll do this Jesus' way or you won't go no way. Do you hear me tonight? The truth. Uh, the truth shall set you free. The truth will make you free. All you have to do is receive it. God loves you. And we love you. But just as sure as you keep rejecting Jesus, you're condemned already. Do you hear me? If you reject Jesus this night, you're condemned already. The truth in the anointing of the Holy Ghost has flowed and went forth to a lost and dying world. Now choose you this day. Whom will you serve? Now we'd love to hear from you. If you've accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, if you've wretched out by faith, if you believe in your heart, you've confessed with your mouth, tell somebody what God just done for you. Call your neighbor up. Get them out of the bed. My God, run. Wake them up. Let the whole neighborhood know that God's not dead. He's alive. And He touched you tonight. This is your moment, your day of victory. You're an overcomer with the word of your testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Tell somebody somewhere what God done for you and look the devil in the eye and tell him you rebuke him and tell him to get under your feet because that's where he belongs in Jesus name we'd love to hear from you if you've been touched tonight by God, if you felt the presence of God in these radio rooms, my God, leave us an encouraging word, an encouraging word. You don't know how much those mean to us. You'll never know. Because, honey, I get 9,900 negative threats. I get 9,900 down talk, spit on, laughed at, made fun of, and that's all right. I raised my hands and counted joy that I've been found worthy to be persecuted for the gospel's sake. Even though I sit out here in these old radio rooms 90% uh, uh, of the time by myself uh, and I've cried out and I've asked ministers to come but they're nowhere around. Uh, you know why? You know why? I pray this night they're somewhere on the battlefield and souls are being won wherever they're standing. I know in my heart if they're not here, they're on the battlefield. Uh, we're on the battlefield for Jesus. Uh, we're done with the playground. We ain't hanging out in the playground. We're soldiers of the Most High and I believe every man of God that has rejected me is somewhere tonight preaching the gospel and lives are being changed even though they hate my guts 
and have as much as told me so. But I love them, and I continue to pray for them. You continue to pray for us right here at Sons of Thunder Ministry. We surely do desire your prayers. We'll be right back. Wow. I'm talking about a Holy Ghost revival about to break loose somewhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Church has learned to make things happen on the natural side But all our buildings and our programs have not turned the tide This is warfare and our weapons, faith, the word, and love Just need a fresh anointing from above We need an old-fashioned, heaven-sent, Holy Ghost revival Touching me, touching you Racing, restoration, Holy Ghost revival, send it, Lord, our souls renew. If we want the power God has promised at the last, we won't find it stirring in the ashes of the past. If there's a new day dawning, pray and lift up holy hands. Revival fires will sweep across the land We need an old-fashioned, heaven-sent Holy Ghost revival Touching me, touching you We need a center racing restoration Holy Ghost revival Send it, Lord, our souls renew We need an old-fashioned, heaven-sent Center racing restoration Holy Ghost revival Touching me, Touching you. touching you, we need a sin erasing restoration. Holy Ghost revival, send it, Lord, our soul for you. We need an old fashioned heaven sent. Holy Ghost revival, touching me, touching, me. touching, you. touching you, we need a sin erasing restoration. Holy Ghost revival, send it, Lord, our soul for you. We need an old fashioned. Sin erasing, restoration, soul saving, devil chasing, Holy Ghost revival, send it, Lord, our souls renew. Send it, Lord, our souls renew. Well, praise God. Amen, amen, and amen. God is good, church. Somebody just clap your hands and thank God. Give God a little bit of praise tonight for Him and Him alone is truly worthy to be honored tonight. My God, He's so good. He is so good. It's it's better felt than it is told, my friends. Well, glory. I want to talk to you now just a little bit about this CD that the Lord put on my heart. This is a God thing. This ain't an Eddie thing. I mean, God put it on my heart about a week ago to start putting these together. He told me to give them away. Now listen, we don't sell nothing pertaining to the gospel. We simply tell people to obey God. If God ever tells you to do anything for Sons of Thunder Ministry, if He ever tells you to do anything for the gospel music jukebox, you obey God. We try to put our mailing address up and out there. You obey God. If it's uh, send me a prayer. Amen. If you make, pray over a prayer cloth and send it to me. Give me a prayer for this ministry. If God tells you to give me a dollar, send a dollar. Obey God. You'll be blessed. We'll be blessed. The Listeners will be blessed. The anointing of God will continue to flow as long as we obey God one of mine and one accord and we come together in the name of Jesus. The body of Christ is unstoppable. <laughs> Praise God. <clears throat> but we don't sell nothing. I don't know how many people done an email me, said they want one, uh, and, they, and they ain't even heard what the idea is, but but we're going to get them out in the mail. Uh, but uh, t tonight, now I'm not going to play the whole CD, I'm going to play you a little bit of a couple of them, and I really want you to give me some input in the room, because see, I'm making this a personal Bible study for everyone that wants one. If you've got a particular question or topic that you would like me to teach on, when you email me your address, now even though I've got your address, you need to email me and tell 
tell me or private message me on Facebook and tell me the topic that you would like for, well, glory, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost for me to teach on. And I'll send you that CD. At the end of that CD, they're going to be a quiz on it. And they're going to be like a, a, an update of the ministry at the main end. I'm going to tell where I've been, what I'm doing, where your money went, where it didn't go, how much we got, how much we ain't got. We're an open book ministry. We will remain to be an open book ministry. We stand on the truth. We talk the truth. We preach the truth. We live the truth. Honey, we're not ashamed of where we are in the body of Christ. We're not ashamed of who we are in the body of Christ. Though we start with very little from what the world looks at, but I'm the richest poor man you ever going to meet on this side of eternity, my friends. Right now, right now tonight, I'm not answering no questions. I'm not taking the phone. I'm, I'm, I'm too far in the anointing. I, I didn't even get to see who all's in the room, so please don't get offended if I don't speak to you. But it moves so fast, and I'm full of sweat and anointing oil running in my eyes. I can't even see. Right now, I'm in the presence and basking in the, in the joy of the Lord. I, I ain't even worried about the chat room because I know those that are in there are on far for God. I know the night that if they was in there sick, honey, they're healed. I know. I know. Because the anointing of God is going forth over these internet airways. I know the night that God's putting it upon the heart of his people uh, to take care of the men and women of God that's on the battlefield. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God has touched everyone that hear this program because it's anointed by God. And I don't care what the enemy tries to do to stop it, how many lies they try to do, how much division they try to cost uh, because honey, listen, he that lives in us that are born again, he where glory is greater than he that is in the world. But I want to play, well, praise God, I want to play you just a little bit of one of these Bible studies. This is just an idea. Now, every one of them uh, 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 have a, well, praise God, they'll have a song on the front, a, a different song. I, I ain't got that part done yet, but it'll come with a song of worship so you can get in, giving you time to open your Bibles. And, and you definitely want to play these over and over, I believe. But you give me some input. They're not done. Listen, i got to get these done in three days. I need the body of Christ to give me some input, some things that you would like to hear on these CDs. I need I need you. I need your help uh, because this is going to be the first time I've ever known of it being a personal Bible study. See, I have to, I take the same study, but at the beginning, I'm going to be calling you by name. You know, I'll be saying hello to the person that requested that topic, and then I I'll be talking directly to that person even though it's through a CD. Everybody ain't getting the same CD. You're going to get a personal CD from me. This old bishop, uh, Eddie Cheney, that's teaching on the topic or the question that you are seeking an answer from as I have fasted and prayed and sought God and God said do this uh, and send the word well, praise God. Send the word around the world as you teach and feed my people. So tonight I need your help. Let me know what you think about it so far because you're connected to it. You're connected to it. I need your prayers. I need your prayers. I now understand full-time ministry. I'm either in the Word, I'm preaching, I'm teaching, or I'm praying. Well, praise God. Come on. Well, glory. Let me get over here, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Give this a listen. It's just about five minutes of it. Of course, now each CD is going to be about an hour to an hour and a half long, but that, but that's it. You'll receive one every month, and they will... and. Well, praise God. And I would ask you, if you want to burn those down, make copies, give them away, I would appreciate that. Amen. Just pass it along when you're done with it. Just pass it along when you're done with it. I said when you're done with it. If it takes you six months, uh, you keep it. But when you're done with it, uh, pass it to someone that you feel needs it. Be led of God. Be led of God. Be led of God. Well, praise God. Give this a listen, and I'll be right back. Well, hello, neighbor. Welcome in to Bible Study 101 with Bishop Eddie Cheney. Well, we're going to be talking about the question of what one must do to be saved. You see, that question was asked a long time ago by a Philippian jailer in Acts chapter 16, verse 30. You see, Paul and Silas had been beaten and thrown into prison in Philippi with their feet 
fastened in the shackles. In this painful condition, they could not sleep. So they sang praises to God. Now, Scripture records that at midnight, as they were praying, there was an earthquake, and it broke them loose from their bonds and opened the prison doors. The jailer, rushing out and seeing the doors open, assumed that the prisoners had fled because the law demanded that a jailer who lost prisoners should be put to death. He was about to commit suicide when Paul called out to him to do himself no harm because they were still all there. In response to this information, Scripture records that the jailer, after calling for some light, fell down before Paul trembling and pleading, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Now, Acts 16 and 30, Paul and Silas both immediately responded as recorded in Acts 16, 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your house. As a result of the jailer's conversion, his entire house also believed and was saved. And he took Paul out of the jail washed his wounds and had fellowship with him. But how can one living today be assured that he is saved? You see, in discussing God's wonderful plan of salvation, there in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 through 10, the Apostle Paul sums it up in three verses. For it is by grace ye have been saved, through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Now let me talk just a minute about grace. The most important aspect of salvation is mentioned in the first part of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 where it states that we are saved by grace. The word grace has various meanings but as it relates to salvation it speaks of kindness bestowed on one who does not deserve it. In other words, grace pours favor on those who do not deserve favor. In grace, the question is not whether or not a person deserves favor or blessings, but only whether he has been judged to qualify for such favor. You see, an examination of scriptural text brings out how permanent this is in our Christian faith. In Romans chapter 3 verse 24 Paul says that Christians are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. In other words, because Christ paid the price and provided redemption it is now possible for a Christian to receive grace or favor that he does not deserve. Now in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 through 8, the apostle speaks of the riches of grace in Christ. When he says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace, that he lavished upon us with all wisdom and understanding in every incident where grace is mentioned it is entirely due to God's favor not human works I want to talk to you just a little here about 
faith. According to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, grace is received by those who exercise faith in Jesus Christ. This introduces, however, a very particular question as to what is meant by faith. It is rather obvious for any careful observer of the church today that there are many who have made some outward professions of faith in Christ who never have been born again and show no evidence that they are saved. How then can one know whether he has put his faith in Christ or not? According to James chapter 2 verse 19, even the devils believe, they even believe that and shudder. From these passages, it is clear that there is saving faith and faith that does not save. You see, we need to understand about the convicting work of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. You see, true faith in Christ is preceded by the work of the Spirit, as James himself described in John chapter 16, verses 7 through 11. But I tell you a truth, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will convict the world of guilt in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment. In regard to sin, because men do not believe in me. In regard to righteousness, because I am going to the Father, where you can see me no longer. And in regard to judgment, because the prince of this world now stands condemned. Before a person can intelligently believe in Christ, he has to be aware of the guilt of his sin. He almost faces the fact that God is righteous and that He judges sin. This is further defined in verse 9. In regard to sin, because men do not believe in me, an unsaved person needs to realize that while he is a sinner, as all men are sinners, this consistency only a part of his condemnation before God. The one sin that prevents him from entering into grace and favor with God is the sin of unbelief. He must realize that salvation is by faith alone. He also needs instructions on the matter of righteousness. Scriptures reveal various kinds of righteousness. For instance, the false righteousness of human works. Scriptures reveal various kinds of righteousness. That's why we're to stay in the Word of God and read, so we will know the righteousness of God. For man's righteousness is as filthy rags before God, my friend. Well, praise God. That That's kind of the, the rough draft of it going on right there. Now, at the beginning of the program, you can look at the information. Those that don't know me, that it may be your first time stopping by and checking out our archive. We're going to give away free Bible study CDs, one a month, all over the world. We're going to, I don't care, anywhere you, if you can get me your mailing address, I'll put you in my, my book here. And once a month, I'm going to mail you out a free Bible study CD. Now, it's going to be about an hour to an hour and a half long. It's going to have a quiz at the, toward the end of it. We're going to question you on what we discussed and, and read with you. And I tried to make this where I could reach those that don't only carry a King James. 
because I know the people that carry a King James. Hey, if you're not sick, you don't need to position. I'm trying to reach everybody with this Bible study. I'm trying to reach those that don't even know who Jesus is. You understand? So I had to try to pray and let the anointing of God lead me in the direction that he would have me to go where they would be milk and meat for everyone concerned because I'm praying that these CDs not only get to you, the body of Christ, but that your family that is lost hear them and they fall in their hands as the word of God falls in their ears. I'd love to hear your input on what you think about that style of Bible study. It'll have a worship song in the beginning, and it'll end with a worship song, similar to the way that we go off of the radio airways. I would really love to hear your input on that. And please, if you want a specific topic taught, all you got to do is message me over there on Facebook, Bishop Eddie Cheney. PM me, give me your mailing address and say, here's the, the question that I would like to hear taught on. Or here's the topic that I would like to hear taught on. And allow 7 to 14 days to get your CD. Please be patient in that department. For right now, I, it's just me. Me, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. Amen? So be very, very patient. If you're just joining into the program, whether you're listening live or by way of the archive, we're talking about giving away a Bible study CD free. Now, if you feel led to sow into the, our ministry right here at the Gospel Music Jukebox, the, my mailing address is right there. You just simply Bishop Eddie Cheney, 219 Red Fox Drive, Crossville, Tennessee, 38571. Just obey God. If you do that, you'll be blessed, we'll be blessed, and the listeners will be blessed. Amen. Let me play you one more. The, each one is made individual their purpose to the individual that requests them your name will be on it at the beginning instead of just i'll say hello with your name i want it to be personal between me you and jesus amen i want you to know that i love you and that i care enough for you that i'm willing to sit down and obey god and try to minister to you and feed you jesus told asked peter do you do you love me do you love me then feed my sheep now, I know good Holy Ghost preaching is good. And I know that that conviction drawing power reach out. I know tonight they've been people healed at the beginning of this service as the Holy Ghost moved from the beginning all the way through. I know people were touched and lives were changed. But there's a time you just need to sit down and just absorb the Word of God. There's a time that you need to sit down and just be quiet and be still and listen and receive what thus saith the Lord. So please, if you want one uh, of the finished CDs, these are just uh, uh, a format. This is just so I could share them with you, our faithful listeners. I want to give you the first opportunity to get those. It don't matter if I've got your mailing address already. Put it over there again and, and tell me what topic you would like for the Holy Ghost anointing of God to work through me to feed you. And we'll get that out to you in about 7 to 14 days. All right, let's let me share just a little bit of another one with you here. And once again, welcome into Bible study with Bishop Eddie Cheney. Today we're going to be talking about God's provision of a complete salvation. You see, the Bible not only gives us a full revelation of Jesus Christ as the Savior, but also reveals in detail what happened the moment a person is saved. It becomes very obvious as one studies this in the Bible that salvation is something that God does for us, not something we do for God. I want to talk about new birth with you at this moment. You see, when a person believes in Jesus Christ as his Savior, one of the dramatic results is that he is born again or regenerated. Now, many scriptures are related to this doctrine. John chapter 1 verse 13 John chapter 3 
verses 3 through 7. John chapter 5, verse 21. Romans chapter 6, verse 13. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5. Ephesians chapter 10. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24. Titus chapter 3, verse 5. James chapter 1, verse 18. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. As stated in John chapter 1, verse 13, one is not born again by any human effort, but is born of God. In his conversation with Nicodemus in John chapter 3, verse 3, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Now Nicodemus had trouble understanding how a person could be born again. Christ pointed out to him that one who puts his trust in Christ receives eternal life. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have everlasting life. John chapter 3, verses 4 through 15. Jesus illustrated faith by referring to the time when Israel was bitten by poison snakes. Numbers 21, verses 6 through 7. God instructed Moses to make a bronze snake and put it on a pole. The scripture records... So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Then when anyone was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake, he lived. Numbers 21, verses 8 and 9. The provision of the bronze snake was for everyone who was bitten by the serpent. But they had to look at the bronze snake to live. In like manner, Christ died for all, but it is necessary for an individual to look to Christ in faith before he is born again. The fact of regeneration is stated in the well-known verse, John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, that he give his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life, or everlasting life. Now many other passages reveal the same truth, that when one trusts in Christ, he is born again. The new birth is one of several illustrations that refer to a Christian's receiving life. The scriptures also speak of spiritual resurrection as stated in Rome, Romans chapter 6 verse 13. Do not offer the parts of your body to sin as instruments of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been bought, brought from death to life and offer the parts of your body to him as instruments of righteousness. Here, salvation represents new life as being similar to spiritual resurrection. Likewise, scripture sometimes speaks of the new birth as a new creation, as in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 where Paul says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature or new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. 
You see, when an individual is born again, he has received a new nature. Like the human nature in Christ, just as a child born by natural birth receives the, the nature of his parents, so in the new birth of Christians receive that which corresponds to God's nature, making it possible to fellowship with God and many other aspects of Christian experiences. Because the new birth by its nature cannot be re revised any more than or reversed any more than natural birth can be reversed. You see, it points to the fact that a Christian who is saved by God can have assurance of salvation for time and for eternity. Having received a new nature, however, a believer retains his old nature as well. Now I'd like to talk about the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. Praise God. There's what you'll be getting, except there'll be an hour, hour and a half worth of teaching. There'll be a quiz. We're going to quiz you at the end of it with some questions that you'll need to answer. And those questions will pertain to that particular CD. Amen. And, and, and at the beginning, there'll be a worship song. Uh, and at the end, there'll be a praise song. Amen. That's, 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 that's what it is. There it is. I'd love to hear your input on it. If you want one, just email me. You can get me on there on Facebook. Let me have your mailing information. Allow 7 to 14 days. We'll get that out in the mail to you. And if you want to hear a particular topic, all you got to do is tell me. And I'll seek God. And we'll get it down on CD and get it out to you. We're going to try to do... Bible study program one day a week here on the radio when I get it uh, better organized here. But pray for me. That's coming soon. Amen. But praise God. I'm excited about what God's doing not only in my life and with my wife and my children, but I'm I'm excited, ecstatic about what he's doing in this ministry and the ministries around us. I see ministries exploding with the anointing of God. I see people in the vision that God showed me getting saved in front of bars as we have revivals across the road. Listen, last year we went down to Cookville. We preached across the street from a bar. The law pulled up. People come out of the bar. They come to the altar. They got saved. They poured the beer out in the parking lot. God's not dead. He's alive and he lives forevermore. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you hear me? Now, friends, if you listen close to those CDs, there was a couple of mistakes, but those are the rough draft. The finished product is on the way, but we want to get one out in the mail to you. We want, to, we want you to sit down and absorb the Word of God. We, 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 we believe in this because God told me. Amen. All right, guys. I think I've explained it the best I could. So just hang on tight. Continue to pray for us right here as we continue to pray for you. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. All right. Now remember... Mm, I'm trying to catch up on the chat here, so excuse me for pausing, but I my eyes still can't focus. I can't I can't read nothing right now. Uh they're burning with sweat and anointing oil. I, I can't read nothing. It's all blurry. I can see the faces. I think I see my wife in there. Uh Sister Rachel, Brother Philip. Looks like their picture. Yeah. Hey, Sister Angie's hanging in there. God bless you. Uh, thank you guys. Anyway, we love you. We're going to say good night with this song. Please continue to pray for us. Hey, by the way, if you need more than one and you're going, you want to give them to members of your family, just email me and tell me. 
I can send up to five at a time, but because of finances, I kind of got to I got to keep it down to five. And the reason I chose five, representing the five stones that little David picked up. Hey, I'll get a study on that too with you one day. Man, it, it's awesome. A lot of people don't know that he picked five up, but he did. He only used one, but he picked five up. But anyway, don't let me get back in beside myself. Oh, God, please. Thank you, Lord. The anointing's been awesome. We've had a good day. We enjoyed this morning. My goodness. We were blessed at Soul Filling Station Worship Center, and Evangelist Chris Cheney came over here at the Little Red Hut, and uh, they brought forth the word this morning as we worshiped with them, and then they were back here at 6 o'clock, and uh, Pastor Eddie Garrett brought forth the word, Brother Philip uh, moved of God, requested we all sing Amazing Grace. Next thing you know, hey, Brother Philip was on the phone preaching the Word of God, and we've got speakers now here in the sanctuary where if you call in with a word, you can preach right to the congregation. They were, God was moving, and people were being blessed by the word that God brought forth from Brother Philip. So uh, we were blessed to be part of that service, and then I wanted to get this special service out tonight about our free CDs Bible study with me, this old bishop, Eddie Cheney. Of course, my throat's getting a preacher croup, so pray for me. I've been spitting a little blood, but that's anointed blood. Amen. One time I preached revival 30 days and spit a, car, a quart jar full of blood. Amen. Uh, the Lord's good to me. He is awful good to me. I'm telling you, if anybody's spoilt in the body of Christ, it's me. It's me. God has got me spoilt. Do you hear me? With his anointing. I just love him tonight. I love each and every one of you. May God continue to bless you as you, may he bless you and your family as you continue to be a blessing to others, my friends. I hope you know how much we love you. Man, right now, if you've heard a rumor, let me settle this real quick. If you guys have heard a rumor, man, you wouldn't believe what they put out there that I didn't want. Uh, well, they've mentioned a bunch of names uh, that I didn't. I, I mean, I always tell the truth. Just pray for me. It's still the truth. But they, you know, like that I didn't want nobody coming up here. That's a lie of the pit of hell. Because I invite people to come. And I miss the ones that were coming that don't come no more. But I got to say this. I encourage them to obey God wherever they may be. Continue to pray for us. We do love you. And don't you believe a lie. Don't you believe a lie that the devil tells. Don't you do it. If you hear something negative about us, at least give me a call. If you can't come and talk to me face to face, at least give me the courtesy of picking up the phone and calling me and asking me. A lot of times when I preach, if look, if it hits you and you get mad and you get upset and you get all bothered, it's probably because you're guilty. If a shoe don't fit you, why in the world would you want to put it on? But if it fits you, then you ought to do something about it. You ought to get it under the blood of Christ. If you got sin in your life, just simply put it under the blood, my friends. All right, we're going to leave you with, we got the devil on the run. Let's keep him there. Know that we love you. Hope to hear from you soon. I want to get those CDs out to you as quickly as possible. Jump aboard, get on board, and hang on. Amen. God bless you guys. We love you. We'll see you next time right here on the Gospel Music Jukebox. Hey, in the morning at nine at uh, nine thirty, we'll be praying for the needs of others Monday through Friday. Every morning at nine thirty, Lord's a willing. Long as we got internet, long as we got breath, we're going to be found doing something for the kingdom of God. Amen. Giving God all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor for He and Him alone is truly worthy. We love you. We'll see you next time. Be blessed.
9, 9, 9.30 Central Time in the morning, Monday. Monday at 9.30. Now, I do a few programs through the night, but I don't really minister. I share other programs like House of Prayer Radio Ministry, uh, Count Meeting Radio, uh, Saving America, my son evangelist Chris Cheney. I do those over in in the pulpit. Uh, sometimes I'll preach there, but not often. I'd rather use and let other ministers help me fill these airways with the gospel. But the Gospel Music Jukebox will be back on in the morning, Monday morning, at 9.30 Central Time. That's 9.30 a.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday. We'll be doing that, sis. I hope that helps you. Just watch for the link. We'll try to tag as many as we can when it lets us tag. But uh, we're working on trying to get a, a solid schedule for all the programs it's just right now I've not had a lot of time to dedicate to that, but I'm I'm trying. So please pray for us. We love you guys. God bless. Hope that helped.